Hey, CJ. Who is that? It's me. Toby? Yeah. What the hell are you... CJ, you fell into the pool there. I can't see. Yeah, well, maybe uh, kind of try and feel your way to dry land. You want a hand? Shut up. Avert your eyes. What? I'm climbing out of the pool. My clothes will be clingy. Avert your eyes. <laughs> CJ, I really didn't come here. Avert your eyes. Okay. Oh, turn around. Tried calling you at your office. They said you were fired. Were you stealing things? Roger Becker dropped from third most powerful person in Hollywood to ninth most powerful person in Hollywood. Does he still make the playoffs, or is the cutoff line? They take it seriously. CJ, Jed Bartlett's very impressed with you. Likes the work you did with that girls group with the stupid name. Emily's List? Yes. That girl's group with the stupid name? Yes. Emily's List, early money is like yeast. Yeah. It helps raise the dough. I get it. They raise money for women candidates. Early money is like yeast. It helps raise the dough for the candidates. I really do get it. Bartlett's impressed with me? Very impressed. And one of the big keys to his game plan is bringing you on as press secretary. He's never heard of me, has he? No. Toby. I'm here on instructions from Leo McGarry. McGarry wants me? Yes. Come join the campaign. How much does it pay? How much were you making before? 550,000 a year. This pays $600 a week. So this is less? Yes. Toby, does he know I've only ever worked statewide? Does he know I've never worked on a national campaign? Yes. It's graduation day. You really think I can do this? Yeah. Is Jed Bartlett a good man? Yeah. Toby? Yes. Then let's go into the house so I can change my clothes and we'll talk about it. CJ? Yeah. The house is over there. OK. One of them was using a knife. Okay, we're e-filing the old 1040A. You're single, head of your household. Deanna's a dependent. Your adjusted gross income is 35000 per annum. Sir, I could do most of this myself. I huh? love doing this. Really? Yeah. Filing tax returns? Yeah. Okay. What? I was just thinking about the plurality of Americans who made the decision to pull a lever that has your name next to it. Suckers. Okay, your mom's Social Security pension benefit is $1,536. Police pension, $2,400. And here's what my question is. Do you take a standard deduction or do you itemize? Yes, sir. Did you make any charitable donations? $500 to the First Baptist Church, $185 to the Salvation Army and Clothing and Household Items, $500 to the Police Benevolent Society of Washington, D.C., and $250 to Big Brothers and Sisters of Washington, D.C. Really? Yep. Plus $430 in non-reimbursed medical expenses. You're better off with the standard deduction. Okay. I'm hitting send now. If you're lying about any of this, you're going to the joint. Yeah. It's going to tell us what your refund is, but I've done a quick calculation, and it'll be $700. That's what I got, too. You've spent it already, haven't you? I'm getting a scanned DVD play with MP3 playback. Free shipping and tax is $499, which will leave enough left over to buy a great DVD I found on eBay. Yeoman of the Guard? Oh, how well you know me, Mr. President on Her Majesty's Secret Service. Can I tell you what's messed up about James Bond? Nothing. Shaken, not stirred, will get you cold water with a dash of gin and dry vermouth. The reason you stir it with a special spoon is so not to chip the ice. James is ordering a weak martini and being snooty about it. Well, I'll reflect on that while watching my digital enhanced picture with theater quality sound. OK. $700? $400. I'm only getting $400 back? You owe $400. This ain't all the federal government money. And you don't even need a stamp. Hand it over. There's a mistake. Whatever, hand it over. There's no way I owe money. That's not quite how we see it. Could I sit down there, please? Sure. Good evening, Mr. President. You need me? Yes, sir. Let's go inside. Milo, Coop, would you help Mr. Young find his pockets, please? I'm fine. There's been a mistake. 
Yeah, it sounds like you're getting tripped up on 1783. Which is? HR 1783. It's a tax rebate from last year. Why would that affect my return for this year? Did you get a tax rebate last year? Yeah. There's the answer. Where's the answer? Your rebate came off this year's taxes. That's how we paid for it. Hang on. The money I got back last year has to be paid for? Yeah. That's not a rebate. That's an advance. Well, technically, I not guess. Not technically. This is like getting a Christmas bonus and having it deducted from your January paycheck. This doesn't sound like very patriotic talk to me, Charlie. It's not. Why did you call it a rebate? So people would spend it. If they thought it was an advance, they might save it. It wasn't advance. Did you spend it? I paid my visa bill. We would have preferred if you ate in a restaurant or traveled. Me too. Well, in any event. What? Oh, what are you, the collector? Neil. He used the rebate to pay off his visa bill. It wasn't a rebate, it was an advance. A trip to Banana Republic would have killed you. Let's go. Yep, it was the rebate. It wasn't a rebate, it was an advance. You say potato. I do say potato, and so does everybody else I know. We wanted to inject some money into retail and tourism. Why not wait until people were supposed to have the money? The economy might have improved on its own by then. In which case, the whole thing would have been pointless in the first place. Yeah. Economists just make it up as they go along, don't they? Yeah. Did it work? Not that much. Most people did what you did. They saved or they paid down debt. We don't want people to save and reduce their personal debt? We do, but when the next guy's president. You win. I always do. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what I find interesting, though. What's that, sir? You. $35,000 a year, a sister to support, and you gave $1,435 to charity? I'm not so sure that check isn't better off in your hands than ours. Oh, I'm taking it. Don't be ridiculous. When you get to your place tonight, you're going to find a new DVD player and that wimp-ass Bond movie. Mr. President. And I threw in Yeoman of the Guard on CD. That was an incredibly nice gesture. I'm really something. A crisis of confidence? Yeah. I don't understand. I was on the helicopter with him earlier this morning, and I'm telling you, he's second-guessing himself, he's revising answers in his Leo, head. Leo. I know. What, I don't... When I left him, he was ready. I don't understand. He's ready. I, you can see it. Not this morning. This isn't supposed to happen with you people. Okay. Christians? Yes. What happened to Steady as she goes? A smart guy said the presidential elections are won and lost on one square foot of real estate. Up here. Well, that's great. Yeah. All right, we, we still got a day and a half before he debates. We'll go back to school. I think that's just going to pour gas on the problem. What do you want to do? We've got a two-minute drill right now. I think whatever answers he gives, we should just say, that's terrific, Mr. President. Then what's the point of the two-minute drill? We got five of them scheduled before tomorrow night. We're using one of them for this. This is crazy. I don't believe this. That's terrific, Mr. President. All right. Leo? Listen, we're going to do something in the, in, the, in the drill right now. What? No, no. It's just positive reinforcement. Why? He has a problem this morning. All right. Leo, I've got a 9.30 flight. I'll be there sometime after lunch. You really can't do this with a phone call? Oh, God, I don't know. The man died. There's a widow. We're asking him to pack. I'm an hour and 15 minutes away in a rent-a-car, and we didn't make a person. All right, I just need you in San Diego. Josh, we're still looking for 10 words. I'm still looking for him, too. 10 words, 10 words. Let's go. We're going to expand the field. No notes during this drill. That's you, too. What's that? No notes during the drill. Why? He's in his head. There's pretty important feedback in the two-minute drills. We've got four more. We've got one on the plane. When's Debbie actually starting? The president sent her to the Maxwell School for a three-day crash course in everything. You know, you got a $10 bill in there on your clipboard. Yeah, I owe it to someone. You can all go on in. Thank you. Ten words. Ten words. We don't have them yet, Mr. President. All right, let's do a drill. Mr. President, despite a rise in tension around the globe, you've held up funding for a missile defense shield. Too much money for too little protection. Good. Good. Next. Sir, you oppose a voucher system that would offer children a choice of better schools. That would offer some children a choice of better schools, but I haven't given up the ghost on better schools for everybody, and vouchers drain money from that goal. Mr. President, this next question is on capital punishment, which you oppose. If your youngest daughter, Zoe, was raped and murdered, would you not want to see the man responsible put to death? First of all, it's important to understand that the President doesn't make that decision, though he appoints Supreme Court justices who do so. What? Any, um... All right, I'm not gonna say that. I'll just go right to... No, I don't. I think you know that I'm opposed... <sighs> Let's not do that. Uh, I haven't seen any evidence that it's a deterrent, and there are more effective... In my state. Oh, my God. What? You weren't kidding. What's the matter with you? When I left you... I just mentioned your daughter being murdered, and you're giving us an answer that's not only soporific, it's barely human. 
Yes, you'd want to see him put to death. You'd want it to be cruel and unusual, which is why it's probably a good idea that fathers of murder victims don't have legal rights in these situations. Now we're going back to school. Let's go, 10 bucks. <laughs> Crisis of confidence. You did one square foot of real estate? Yes, I did. 10 bucks for you. Mm. And you, you big bear, come to me. I'm going to kiss you right on the mouth. 10 bucks. Mm. Anything else, sir? Work hard. Thank you, Thank sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh. Oh. Have a safe flight. I'll see you in San Diego. Sorry about that. It was the president's idea. He bet us you couldn't stay quiet if he gave him bad hands. Why are we slowing down? Uh -oh. Are we out of gas? Diesel. Are we out of it? We're out of gas. Diesel. Nobody cares. Kathy says there's a gas station about a thousand yards down the road. They don't have diesel. They don't have diesel. We run out of gas because I said she was wholesome, but not too wholesome. I can't make a car run out of gas. I don't know. Can make glow plugs explode things. Where's the closest diesel? About 10 miles. Oh. All right. Can I suggest this? We've missed Unionville. We've got a little over an hour till the plane leaves, and we can make it if we call a volunteer and have them pick us up at the gas station. You guys can have the tow truck meet you there. Oh, we're not calling a tow truck. It's just out of gas. Diesel. What are you going to do? We'll hitch back to the farm and pick some up. Somebody's going to pick you up out here. Run out of diesel. Yeah. Need lift back to the farm? Thanks. Side, these guys work for Bartlett. How you doing? They both for him the first time. Don't plan through the second time. Have a good trip back. Remember some of that stuff I said, okay? Thanks for all the help. Okay, call the state office. Tell them to send a local volunteer. Tell them we're done at the time. You're doing it, right? Yeah. This is fun. We're roughing it. It's fun. Moment between the two of you, your two friends. We came in this morning. We know who you are. We're not rednecks. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Donna Moss, and this is my boss. Josh Lynn. Toby Ziegler. Anyway, we're very crunched for time, and we think that you... I work at the White House. Wow. Humongous whoop. Come on! He's communications director. It's a decent-sized whoop. How many unborn babies did you guys kill today? Oh, hey, danger. Will Robinson. Tyler, no fooling around. We have 15 minutes to get to a plane that is three miles from here. That plane, I swear to God, is taking off at 1 o'clock. It's taking off at 1. Yes, it is. Are you, are you guys stupid or something? It's 1.45 right now. It's 12.45. <laughs> no, not here. It's not. Oh, my God, she's right. See, we crossed over from Unionville into Dearborn County, which doesn't observe daylight savings time. I think it's the other way around, genius. What did I ever do to you? It says on the schedule, all times are local. This is why I couldn't get anyone on their cell. Wait, wait, no, no, you're not... We changed time zones? We changed time... We changed time zones?! It's a uh, common mistake. Not for the U.S. government! What schmuck-ass system can this Good. possibly... That's good! That's perfect! How, 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 I don't understand. How to help us just change. to break them. What, 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 what people they just they just they 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 reset their watches when they commute? They just uh, change their watches every time they cross a, a time zone? What is this, a joke? Serve my country! Okay. This is a whole new thing now. My guys are gonna need to walk this off a little bit before they can regroup. Kiki, can your friends get back to school? Tyler, you and I are gonna come up with a plan to get us to a commercial airport. Can we okay. have a civilization? How long are they gonna be? Couple more minutes. Okay. <laughs> 